Waititu Goose and the general uh, sense of, uh, I mean, the lack of services felt by the county, of course, the people in Kembo County. How, how does the Kembo County government perhaps justify the catalogue of problems that have been uh, the punctuating points of the county administration? Because either way, uh, the Kabog administration wasn't that hands clean off when it comes to allegations of corruption. Uh, thank you, Ayub. Looking at uh, what is happening in the counties, massive looting that leads to corruption, whereby the governors go there not to serve the interests of the people, but to serve their own interests. And well, is that a general trend across the devolved units? Yes, all the governors. There's no governor who is clean. There's no governor who has done justice to their people. There are no MCAs who have legislated the way they are supposed to legislate in the county assemblies to ensure that their people get the service delivery. Okay? So the problem we are facing in the country is when we come and make the wrong choices. One. Two, when we don't question the the, 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 the service delivery that these people are supposed to deliver to us, when we don't question our governors, when we don't take our, our M MCAs up to task. Because if you take each and every MCA from each and every corner of this country, and if each MCA is result-oriented, then this country will be far. Okay. When you look at the devolution itself, yes, it's a good tool, but the people we have trusted with to spearhead the devolution agenda are not doing justice to us. Because if, for example, in Nairobi, the 80, 80, 80, 85 wards are well managed and agendas well implemented, because each and every MCA went to their wards when campaigning with their manifesto. If each and every leader can deliver the manifesto they had to the people, Okay, then this country will be very far away. Okay, in the in, in in the dispensation of the new constitution, on the devolved governance system. Okay, in your case, then all scenario, perhaps the point you're trying to express is that there is a case of a capacity, but that capacity is incapacitated by the leadership yes. currently in place. Yes. Then how 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 do we move out of this particular problem? Because we seem to be in the deep hole. The only way we can move out from this deeper problem, it is when we, the common Mwananchi, will now bring our leaders to accountability. There is a, a clause in the, 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 there's a section in the constitution that allows us to recall our-, our, that is our, our at, at, Article 90, if I'm not wrong, 95. Yes, yes. recall our leaders. Mm -hmm. But there is also an impediment to it because when we recall them, they still have to go, the process has to go back to either county assembly or the parliament. And you remember, this parliament will defend their own. This county assembly will defend their own. In the case of, uh, let me, one, one member of parliament was trying to be recalled in the, in the, in, in the, in the first uh, phase of election. It was, uh, I think, 2015, 2016 there. Okay. The MP for M. Gwen. Okay? He was being recalled. He was recalled by the members, the, 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 the constituents. Okay. But what happened later? He was saved by the parliament. What does it tell us? What does it tell us? We don't have a right even to what is supposed to be ours. Okay, Cyrus.